Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make Two and another episode of our Sims Mobile Let's Play series starring Bluebell and her roommate Major, who has just stormed away <laughs> from her. They're having like a little relationship event in the fashion studio. I have a story related reason for them to be doing this in the fashion studio, but it doesn't seem like things are going well between them. They were never going to be best friends, they're just roommates, but still, like, mm, things are a little frosty. Yeah, I mean, it's good for them to hang out in the fashion studio rather than being in the house together all the time, so I think that's nice. Yeah. One of the reasons they're probably here is maybe they're having a debrief following the ASOS special event that's recently <laughs> finished, and they both worked really hard, I know, to try and complete everything. Yeah. Did they complete everything, though? No. They no, did. They, they came did close. Not. They came close. Not really. <laughs> They got a bunch of things. It looks like you got a bunch of the nice ones. Not all of these, I think, are that fashionable or exciting. Mm. I was able to finish and go all the way to the 3,000, uh, what's it called, Asus coins. I have four sims in my game because I started my game yeah. during the uh, pre-worldwide release. Mm -hmm. So it's much easier to and cheaper to add sims at that point. And I think that really helped me finish the event on time. Yeah, and I started the event sort of late. I started it like days after it was supposed to start, so I definitely lost time there. And I think having only two sims probably was a disadvantage as well. I know that a lot of people did manage to finish the event just fine, but I also know a lot of people did not manage to finish it. And it's kind of harsh. Like, I didn't finish the hot tub event either. Ouch. Yeah, and so for the very first two events that happened after the worldwide release of the game, for me not to be able to finish them is kind of like, kind of disappointing, I must say. But yeah. like I said, I did start it late and, you know, that probably lost me a lot of valuable time. Yeah, these events definitely are not easy. I would have thought they should ease us a little bit more gently into these kind of events with a brand new game. Mm. But uh, I think also we're still finding our feet with the best strategies for managing these kind of events. And I don't think I've worked it out yet. Alrighty, so Bluebell has just finished this relationship event with Major, and I just want to point out their outfits. I don't know if we... Look at this muscular dude! Yeah, talking dude. about fashion in the fashion what? studio, what is with these three amazing looking people? Look at this! Muscles! Oh my gosh! Do you I... reckon that's because of the special Izzy creation he's wearing? I did not know you could default thought, make people look like that. I thought that you had one of these superhero outfits yeah, it is, uh, in your game. I, I have one. Um, it looks different. It's not a llama on the front. Mm -hmm. And it does not make my sim look super buff. It's a female one, so uh, maybe that's the reason. But this guy is looking... Yeah. I don't know, he's been on the roids. But he's got those dust clouds, which I really dislike. I had I like a whole bunch of shirts with dust clouds that Izzy gave to Bluebell, and I was like, ugh, not really my style. Also, for a long time, it was really unbalanced between male and female clothes that Izzy was giving out, and it's only recently that I've been playing off-camera have I started getting more female clothes. So I've decided to go with this one today, which is her latest acquisition from Izzy. I like it, it's sparkly. Yeah, it's kind of like got this wicked boost on it. I'm not sure exactly what that wicked boost is supposed to do, because I haven't really seen anything. I in... think there is a wicked trait. I think okay. maybe it means you take simoleons off others during events or something. <laughs> I, think it, I, think I'm, I think that's the trait at least. All right. Yeah. And now you've got Major looking mm -hmm. super bubbly. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what his... Let's see. Uh, change appearance under style and Izzy special nice creations. Little top. Yeah, this has some sort of like wine and dine kind of boost. I think that's a, a boost to the culinary career. Okay. Maybe culinary and barista career, I think that one. Oh, cool. Well, that's mm -hmm. fine because he is a chef. Speaking of careers, with the ASOS event, even though I didn't finish the whole thing, I did manage to unlock the photography career. Yay! And we have had Bluebell working as a barista. She is part of our story. She is new to town. And... I think that, you know, she has some ambitions besides being a barista. I think we said that when we first introduced Definitely. her to town. So I'm thinking might it might be a good time now to switch her career over. And I think in the last episode, she was showing an interest in art. So why not have her translate that interest in art and that ambition to get out of the barista career into photography career? I think that's a great idea. I think this is an amazing location to start that new career right on the square where tons <laughs> of people walk past. So I'm sure she can pick up loads of business. 
taking people's portraits or pictures with their dogs or kids or that kind of thing. Yeah, so I'm not sure what's going to happen in this career because I didn't unlock like the final ASOS career story or whatever that's it was. For, I think that's an alternate... I don't know what that is actually. Okay. I haven't got to that yet because I'm still working through the normal photography career. Got it. So I'm just going to do this, whatever they give me to do. Yeah. Which is... Focused and fearless. Yeah. A shutterbug seeks exposure in the photography world. That sounds like our bluebell. So it costs me money to switch career. Yeah, to switch career. career. But that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm John. Okay. And I think she was a level five already of barista. So she's already become an expert barista. <laughs> Makes sense to switch. There's not much more she can learn there. Now, oh, she's going to start. Oh, somebody just walked right across her thing. Okay, so well, there's a quest attached to this or... Okay, a quest completed. In starting the photography career, I completed a quest. Excellent. And trying a new career, I've completed a quest. So I'm getting some rewards just for doing that. That's cool. And uh, now let's tap on it and work a quick shift. Yeah. Just got to find her feet. Now this, unlike Booster, this has all the way up to level 10. It's a full-on career. So oh, it's nice. going to take her a while to become an experienced professional. But hopefully she's going to do really well at it. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> like she's, you know, manning the camera. Like she knows what's up. Simulate lighting. Okay, yeah. let, that looks sort of the same. But there was a flash there. <laughs> and... Was that her sparkly, sparkly outfit? Ooh, attempt to adjust aperture. Yes, yes. Okay, she's playing with the camera. That's not that big a camera. <laughs> oh, but she's done well, even though she didn't have that much, whatever it's called, luck confidence, going on. Confidence, yeah. but she did well. Okay, so let's find her a photography subject. One of these people, oh, discuss the use of props. Maybe they're just a photography assistant. Yeah. Well, maybe they're going to take a picture with and like, would you like to be, what sort of backdrop would you like? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Attempt portraiture. Ooh, risky. Oh, oh. it doesn't oh, no. out. <laughs> well, why are you attempting portraiture over here when your background, like, is over here? Like, this is your setup over here. Yeah, I wouldn't surprise me if Sims... Of course that wasn't going to work out. I don't think Sims can walk in front of that. <laughs> oh. No, but somebody did. Like, I saw oh, somebody walk through it. Yeah. You'd think that the photography booth could actually be used, you know, as, as a, booth. a booth. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, let's just keep trying to tap on people and then try another risky action with people. Well, Although it looks her like shift we're going to finish over. the shift. Ah, okay. Well, we can, we can definitely start maybe another quick one and see how it goes. Sure. We're going to get to level two now, photography career. Ooh, nice. And that unlocks, ooh, career object for studio. So that can go in... Inside the studio. Inside or here? I think, like you know, outside as well, yeah. Yeah, should we put it on the wall? Yeah. Meanwhile, let's just go ahead and start her on another quick shift, just so she can get that going. So that'll be in... Photography, photography career. career. Oh, I see. That's a cheap one, and I don't know if you could put it outside somewhere. I think it would be hard to see if it was outside, oh, yeah, but that's I think, fine. yeah, there, that's yeah, fine. We can see it. So just from colors of the frames, uh, pretty subtle. Okay. Now let's zoom in and take a little look at all those pictures. Oops. I'm out of there. Got a range of really cool portraits. Yeah, I like how these are sort of like classic exactly. Hollywood. You know, Jan John Wayne, James Dean kind of era yeah, types of photos. That, who's the guy from um, Gone with the Wind? Clark Rick. Gable. Clark Gable. That sort of looks a little bit like Clark Gable. Did you just say Rick? <laughs> Rex. <laughs> okay, yeah, Rhett Butler, yeah. Rhett, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, where is another person she can try to get confident with? Yep, use a cupcake. Come on, come on. Meanwhile, I've got this to-do list. I'm collecting things right and left. That is the nice thing about Sims Mobile is that, you know, basically anything you do is contributing to getting some sort of goal met. Yeah, either leveling up your lifestyle, improving your level, or helping your Sim gain that experience. Okay, we seem to have found a willing person to attempt portraiture with again. Hopefully this will be... Ah, Bluebell! Oh. Okay, I don't know. I don't think that she's going to get a successful portraiture action in this. But I think she's got to practice a little bit more on her still life before yeah. she tries to take on live subjects. <laughs> <laughs> but she's still leveling up. Uh, she's going to finish this chapter, which is going to be cool. She's already become a flair developer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, wow, that's a fancy camera. Can I see it? Han says. 
collect it. Sure, I just got it, but it feels like I've had it for years. I think I'll learn in a flash. Ha ha ha. My dad actually designed your camera. I came from a long line of photographers. Let's see what you got. Wow, fancy. Wow. Bluebell just keeps mingling with the hoi polloi, like I the know. really up there people, BTS, now the heir to whoever made her camera. Heir to Hasselblad or something. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Photography career object for the home. A tabletop light box studio. So I guess ah. she could use that for editing photos or something? No, that's for taking still life. Oh. A macro still life, which actually fits in really well. Okay. Well, there's more dialogue going on. I'm not sure what they're talking about. Something like a customer being super picky and all that. So I just want to see what this looks like at home. I guess they said that we have to do it at home. Mm -hmm. So let's go home. All right, here we are. I'm not even sure. Do I have like a free surface in order to put that down? It's Maybe just like it's... a little table so thing. It's, it's own thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Career collection. Yeah. Tabletop studio. That's us. Ooh, it's it's super big. Yep, it's a one by two thingy. Okay. I guess it can go behind the couch. Oh, that's a good place. I mean, that's the only place I've got, really. Yeah. And then let's see how it works. Yay, I get to level up my uh, lifestyle. You're doing well. Always nice to see. I unlocked another room. That can be her studio, actually. That could be her uh, extra yeah, room just for that. Oh, yeah, photography studio. So what can we do? Create a composition. How cute that oh, she can do this at home! Oh, she's put a little thing inside, a little toy! Nice! I'm gonna say it's a toy, maybe it isn't. Yeah, it's a, you know, still life and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. So what does this do? Does this, like, advance her career options, or...? Nope. Oh, just for a fun activity? Yep. Okay, cool. <laughs> no worries. It's still a nice thing to have about the house, and just lets you improve your decorations to fit in with her career. Yeah, and that point gives me decorating inspiration for adding a photography studio. I'm not sure where I should put it. What do you think? Uh, maybe off the living room, the other side of the living room. That's where maybe you put a study, like you've got bedrooms on one side and then... Yeah, like over office. here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, over to the left. Yep, yep. I'll figure it out. Maybe in the next episode, we will show off some more stuff that we can put in the home studio. So hopefully we'll advance her in her career some. That sounds good. Before we clock out though, I just wanted to say we have the option to give her a fourth trait. <gasps> yep. So I know that a fourth trait means that gets her much closer to retirement, but yeah, you don't we don't have, have to. to. Retire. No. Yeah. I've been burning through a bunch of my Sims and they have been being retired, but you don't need to do that at all. All right, so I'm not sure... I don't think that foodie is necessary for Bluebell. Lucky no. could be good. Flirty could be good. I'm going to go for flirty because okay. I think we would like her to have some luck in love. Yeah, it's been a while. The thing is, like, I feel like a lot of the game is built around relationships, like getting married and having children and stuff like that. And I don't know, I'm not really ready to play the game that way. Like, <laughs> There is a whole new, by the way, wedding storyline. Yeah, I know. But I don't want her to get married just yet. She's enjoying yeah, her single life. She's, that's fine. She's new in town. But she can still have relationship events, making friends or enemies or yeah. romantic buds. Yeah, absolutely. So she's going to make a flirty introduction with this guy. I don't know. <laughs> flirty. Why not? She just got her flirty trait. Let's see how it works out. Hmm. <laughs> I guess she got a little bonus from it. I don't know. But they can start an event. First date at the cafe. Mm. Let's say we'll have her flirt around. She could even flirt with this person. Oh, no. Guess not. That's an elder, right? Elders? Yeah, I think so. Anyone with gray hair like that is an elder. Okay. Can't yeah. be a romantic person. Aww. Another elder. Oh my goodness. This guy's like literally her only prospect for romance right now. Well, let's get back to it. <laughs> oh, no, wait. I see people. I see people. Oh, there's one. Yeah. She's just going to flirt indiscriminately. <laughs> well, she's got to practice her new skills. Exactly. She's got these like bonuses incoming from mm -hmm. being a flirty person. All right. So we are going to just figure out her dating prospects probably in another episode. Yep. 
I think that having her focus on her career in this episode was pretty good. Well, she's gone from being a top barista to being a low-level photographer, mm. and we'll have to see how her career development in this new photography career unfolds. Yeah, it seems like portraiture is maybe not her bag. Maybe, mm. like, landscapes is more her thing. <laughs> Stick to landscapes. I'm sure if she keeps plugging away at it, at the very least she'll level up some, and we'll take it from there. Okay, so, so far she has made flirty introductions with two guys and two girls, so I guess, yeah, we will see how it goes in the next episode. Alrighty guys, let us know in the comments what you thought of this episode, and also let us know how you did in the ASOS event. I'm kind of curious to see how more people in the Sims Mobile community did with this second event in the game's worldwide release stage. And in the meantime, if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims Mobile on the way. Thanks for watching.